Hello, welcome to Wayne Jewels A-Level Biology. My name is Miss Bellows Freeman, I'm the Head of Science at Wayne Jewels, and in this presentation we're going to take you through the A-Level Biology course and how it's structured. If you do have any questions at the end, um, feel free to send an email to bio at wayneduels.wokingham.sph.uk. You can find us at Wayne Jewels Science on Twitter, um, and one of those two ways you will get in contact with us and we can do our best to help. We do have some grade requirements for the A-Level Biology course. It is a challenging course. It's very well regarded by universities. And it's also 100% exam. So those, the grade requirements we have are to support students to make sure that if they are starting this A-Level course, they are likely to be able to succeed in terms of the exam aspect of the course. If exams are more of a challenge, there are other pathways into biology that might be better for you. We offer a BTEC in Applied Human Biology. Uh, what will you do, just need to do is check that your future pathway will let you in with either of those courses. But if you're confused in any way, please come and talk to us. Um, those grade requirements are not designed to put people off. They are generally, in our experience, that students who aren't getting these grades will really struggle with the A-level course and particularly the exam aspect of the A-level course. Um, so, um, we are part of a large department of science teachers. Uh, there are four biology teaching labs, four experienced A-level biology teachers, and uh, we've got three lovely science technicians who have been here for years and are really, really helpful in putting together lots and lots of practical to help support students learning. Okay. I sometimes think with the A-level biology course that they generally try and cover every single skill in education. It certainly feels like that when you read the uh, specification. Um, we cover a wide, wide range of practical skills, um, lots of laboratory skills that you would be expected to take forward into university. Uh, aseptic techniques, using quite complicated scientific equipment, and designing experimental procedures yourself. That's one of the big changes from GCSE, is that you will be moving towards designing your own experiment and understanding why you're doing an experiment, rather than just following instructions. Um, there is a fair amount of math skills. Uh, they will expect you to be able to change units, use standard form, uh, construct, analyse graph, use statistical tests. Um, there is absolutely no need to be doing math A-level, though some students do, uh, in collaboration with biology A-level. But if you are leaving maths far, far behind, it is useful to know that actually we are going to be picking up those math skills. And we do have some students who pick up uh, a course that we run at Rangers called Core Maths, which is uh, it's worth half an A-level outcome. And that does support them, particularly in the second year. So that's always an option if you think you might need a bit more support with your maths. Um, there will also be a lot of attention to detail, a lot of problem solving and critical thinking. You're going to have to be disciplined and well organised with the amount of content that we work through. And you will need to work as a team at, in practical tasks and in lessons. So we're developing all of those wider skills as well as the science skills. Okay. As I said, practical is an important part of the course. Um, it's graded completely separately from the exam. So as well as getting your exam grade, you get a pass-fail for your uh, required practical. Um, and there is a 12 of those, and those, those practicals are absolute must-dos. But then we also do other required practicals during the year to increase practical skills and to see your kind of real life implications of what it is you're studying. Okay, so in the first year, um, you'll notice that lots of these topics carry on with GCSE topics. You do 10 chapters in kind of four modules. There are six of those required practicals that you do within the first year. Um, it's usually split between two teachers. So one teacher will do what's labeled on this slide as green topics. Another teacher will do the blue topics. Um, and you'll work your way through the year with an assessment at the end of each chapter, 
and working through uh, these topics through the year. Okay. Um, we do offer, at the end of the first year, students can choose to do an AS um, and then to drop the course at the end of the first year. Um, so in order to do that, you would have to be doing four subjects because you need to leave with three outcomes. But if you did decide to do that, you would then do two papers at the end of that first year um, and that would be your grade and you would get an AS level in biology. The topics are exactly the same as the first year of biology, so you wouldn't be in a separate class from everybody else. We would just need to know that you were doing the test so we could prepare you for the exam. But it is something we offer. We actually offer it for all sciences, but you can at the end of the first year do an AS level and decide to drop it if you would like to. Although we would much rather be carried on for the full year and carried on with some more topics. Um, the second year is when we start to do a bit more application of knowledge um, and we start to move on a little bit, particularly in genetics, beyond even the ideas of GCSE. So we start to look particularly at the end of the year at gene expression and the new DNA technology. We look at forensics and fingerprint, uh, genetics and DNA fingerprinting. Um, and students really start to enjoy the new biology, the new uh, topics that are closer to what you would be studying if you carried on at university and if you carried on in research. Um, and again, the vast majority of our students, in fact, almost all of them, will do an A-level. And again, the A-level is all exams. So paper one is on the first year content. Paper two is on the second year content. And those are a, mu a mixture of kind of extension of the GCSE type questions, short and long answer questions, um, maybe with a comprehension question in the paper two. Paper three is a little bit different. It could be any content from the whole of the course. And it includes specific questions on practical skills and critical analysis of data. And then the big change for paper three is that there is an essay. There's an extended essay. It's worth 25 marks. Um, they give you two essay titles, and you choose one, and you write your essay in the exam. We spend a lot of time, particularly in the second year, but also in the first year, planning that, that essay, preparing, practicing different topics, um, working on those essay skills, so as well as getting the maths and the problem solving and data analysis, you're also getting some essay skills as well. Right? And it's unsurprising with all of those skills that there's a huge range of next steps to take with biology A-level. Um, you can go straight into a huge range of vocational next steps, applied science, health and social care, sport exercise, environmental sustainability, animal care, huge, huge range. Um, you can move on to apprenticeships. We had a student who uh, found an apprenticeship as actually a degree apprenticeship, um, completely funded by the company um, down the road in Ascot, and he was working on genetic engineering straight out of, uh, straight out of his A-level, and he's really, really enjoying that. Um, and, or you could go to university and carry on studying biology, chemistry, physics, um, we do have lots of students who go on to do medicine or lots of other related subjects. Um, we have a range of online options uh, to kind of supplement your learning. You still have access to Caboodle, which is an online resource hub, including digital versions of our textbooks. We still use things like Seneca. And we also have uh, some practical simulation software, which allows students to carry out the simulations of the practical work so that even if you miss a practical or you can't remember a practical, you can go back and do a simulation to either get results or just remind yourself of that practical. Hopefully that's given you a little flavour of A-Level Biology at Wangels. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send an email or to get hold of us on Twitter. Thank you.